Let us now consider an application of what we have done so far. Let x be a normal random variable with given mean and variance. This means that the PDF of x takes the familiar form. We consider a random variable y, which is a linear function of x, and to avoid trivialities, we assume that a is different than 0. We will just use the formula that we have already developed. So, we have that the density of y is equal to 1 over the absolute value of a, and then we have the density of x, but evaluated at x equal to this expression. So this expression will go in the place of x in this formula, and we have y minus b over a minus mu squared divided by 2 sigma squared. And now we collect these constant terms here. And then, in the exponent, we multiply by a squared, the numerator, and the denominator, which gives us this form here. We recognize that this is again a normal PDF. It's a function of y. It, we have a random variable y, this is the mean of the normal, and this is the variance of that normal. So the conclusion is that the random variable y is normal with mean equal to b plus a mu, and with variance a squared sigma squared. The fact that this is the mean and this is the variance of y is not surprising. This is how means and variances behave when you form linear functions. The interesting part is that the random variable y is actually normal. Intuitively, what happened here is that we started with a normal bell-shaped curve, a bell-shaped PDF for x. We scale it vertically and horizontally and then shift it horizontally by b. As we do these operations, the PDF still remains bell-shaped, and so the final PDF is again a bell-shaped normal PDF.